Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because today we're going to be doing December's Illumicrate unboxing. So this is obviously the last box of the year and I'm so excited. I've only had Illumicrate for the last three months and I don't even remember what the theme of December was. I think it was queer. So let's get to it guys. I'm so excited and I'm happy because since they're going to be out of the office due to the holiday vacation, my box came super early. Like I've never received an Illumicrate box earlier than literally maybe the last day of the month and it's December 18th and I received it at 6 a.m. I was so excited. Okay, now I remember what the theme is. So the theme for December 2023 is In the Stars. Here is our spoiler card. I'm not going to open it. We're not going to go through it yet until I unbox everything. But it looks like this. Really, really pretty colors. And I think it's a sci-fi fantasy if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really, really excited about that. So the first thing we see is this cute little box with some stars. And it's got some flowers on it. It's got like a little bit of a celestial theme to it. And it says, books are a way to live a thousand lives. Designed by Milk Lead Danny. So this is what it looks like. I'm excited. I just read the top. I'm so excited. It says an endless life TBR jar and I only own one. So I'm so excited about this. I should actually do like a TBR jar chooses my books for the month video, but I've just, I'm such a control freak and such an annoying mood reader that it doesn't really, it doesn't work out to my benefit because I don't end up reading those books anyways. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Again, it says books are a way to live a thousand lives. And it's a clear jar and it's got the quote on both sides. It's so pretty. Bottom, it says Illumicrate. And then here is the cute slot for it. It's a nice and big one. I'm really, really happy about this. So that is our first item. Next item, I'm seeing something clothy. It looks like this. It's kind of like cartoony. It's got a music symbol, some stars, maybe the sun in the background or another star. I don't know what this is, but it's like cloth-like material. So I'm wondering. It says Stargate Donut. How cute is that? I don't know if this is like some sort of towel or if it's like maybe like a computer screen cleaner is what I'm thinking it is because of the way that it feels. But it's got this really cute cartoony design to it. It's got like a rocket down here. Yeah, and I have no idea what this is inspired by. But again, I would be the worst one to like guess these tandems because I haven't read a lot of fantasy. So we will look into it towards the end. But I'm assuming that it's some kind of cleaning cloth towel thing. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing is this Illumicrate 2024 calendar. And it looks like this. It's a desk calendar and says, with artwork from Katrina Vitkovska. I'm so sorry that I'm butchering the names, but let's see what it's themed after. So the first page looks like this. Looks like it's going to be celestial type. So this is January's. It says Armesia Palace from the Lunar Chronicles. It's this really pretty design. The next one is Yo River from She Who Became the Sun. And that's February. March is Sharon's Crossing Tea and Treats Under the Whispering Door. How pretty is that? April is the Harana from the Jasmine Throne. School of the White Pines Bookhouse from Song of Silver Flame Like Night. Setter Palace from This Woven Kingdom is June's. It's really pretty. Lazian Basin from the Priory of the Orange Tree. The Great Cave of Zakatra, the Adventures of Amina Sarafi. I'm saying these names so wrong, so excuse me for that. Stargate Don't. Oh, so this is a book. I had no. Well, I sort of. Yeah. So this is the book Stargate Donut from Light from Uncommon Stars, and that's our September calendar theme and I've never heard of that book and at the bottom here where you see each page has its own little quote from the book which I thought was really really cool the night market from the stardust thief is October's such pretty colors in these designs I like them era castle realm of chickpea from so this is ever after 
And December's is Pure Light Palace from Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I don't really have like a designated office area desk, so I'm probably going to put it here somewhere in the library, and it's nice that you can hang it. I just don't know where I'm going to put it, but that was really nice. I like that they included that. I think every year, Aluma Crate includes a calendar for the year to come, so I'm excited about that. The last item here is, oh, this is cute. It's a habits tracker, and it has your weekly slots. Up here, you can see you can put the date on it. And then right here, these little moons, you can check off the habit that you're trying to stick to, like drinking water, working out, reading X amount of pages a day. That would be nice. And then at the top, it says this week. And it's just a weekly planner or habit tracker. Probably also good for your desk as well. So well, this is really nice. Okay, let's move on to the book now. So December's book is The Principle of Moments by Emmy Jagemi Pearson. And it's very, very pretty. Look at this book. Look at that. It is so pretty with the foiling and the colors that they used on it, which kind of sort of goes with the theme. Um, here's the spine and then the back it says my favorite kind of grand space opera where anything can happen and usually does of great speed and that was said by ben arnovich author of the rivers of london series so here are the stenciled sprayed edges it's again celestial with the stars and the blue for the sky it's really really pretty it's subtle but it's super pretty and then Let's open the inside first. I just love like the illustrations on end papers. Okay, so the end, I don't know how to do this without like spoiling myself with the naked cover of it. Here are the end papers on the front. Really, really pretty. End papers on the back. And then we just have a simple foiling design in the naked cover with a quote on it and then nothing on the back, which is kind of a little bit disappointing, to be honest with you, for it to be the last book of the year. The quote says, Courage is the only thing stronger than fear and love is the thread that holds the autumns of this universe together. It's also pen signed by the author. So I have no idea what this book is about. So let's read the synopsis. So it takes place in two timelines. I see 1812 and I see 6066. In Emperor Thracian's brave new galaxy, humans are not citizens but indentured laborers working to repay the debt they unwittingly incurred when they settled on Garan, a desert planet already owned by the emperor himself. Asha Kendall knows she's just another voiceless cog working the assembly lines that fuel his fast imperial war machine. Her only rebellion studying stolen aeronautics manuals in the dead of night. But then a cloaked stranger arrives to deliver an impossible message and her life changes in an instant. 1812. Obi Amadi is done with time traveling. Never mind the fact that he doesn't know how to cure himself of the temporal sickness he caught whilst anchoring his soul to Regency London. The one that unmakes him further with every jump or if the prince he loves will ever love him back or why his father disappeared he is done until he hears about the ghost of a girl in the british museum a girl from another time when obi's path tangles with asha's and a prophecy awakens in the cold darkness of space they must voyage through the stars racing against time and the legacy of the three heroes from an ancient religion who may be awakening reincarnated in ways beyond comprehension Actually, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what I just read. It sounds confusing. But then again, so so does a lot of sci-fi books for me. Um, yeah, it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm ready to read something like this. It's also very, I don't know, huge. It's 501 pages. I guess for a fantasy, it's not too bad. But I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So this will probably be one of those books that I read out of my comfort zone that I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but I know that I'm probably gonna have a good time. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over everything we got in this box, starting with the TBR jar. 8,000 Lives TBR jar, designed by Danny Lynn at Milk Tea Danny. Leave your next read in the hands of fate with this TBR jar with a quote from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I have not read that book yet, but it's on my TBR. <laughs> 
so I will eventually read it. So this is very nice. Next up we have the Stars Wall Calendar. In the Stars Wall Calendar, artwork by Katrina Vitkoska at Vitkoska underscore art, designed by Janet Tibbetts at Chatty Nora. Prepare for the new year with this multi-fandom calendar which has stunning artwork featuring many of our favorite bookish locations. Next up we have the Violence Divinations Weekly Planner, designed by Margie Gona Soli Art. Easily plan your week with this gorgeous weekly planner influenced by the world of violet made of thorns. Haven't read that book yet, but it's on my list. The last thing is the Stargate Donut Tea Towel. This one's designed by Ka Mascherpa at Ka Mask underscore. Adorn your kitchen with this useful tea towel that has artwork inspired by light from uncommon stars. So I was right. It was a tea towel. I don't own a tea towel, so that's why I didn't. Like, texture's different. It's more like a fiber texture, microfiber. So that's probably why I thought it was going to be like a screen cleaner or computer cleaner or something like that. But it's really cute, so I do intend to use it. And lastly, we have the book. It says, enjoy your Illumicrate exclusive edition with a signed royal hardback and features an exclusive cover from the publisher, foil embossing on the hardback by Shadi Nora, digitally printed edges from the publisher, and end paper artwork by at underscore St. So again, I'm not really excited about this book. <laughs> I mean, it is beautiful, but we'll see how I feel when I get to it and after I finish it. That was the last December 2023 box from Illumicrate. I have to say I'm kind of a little underwhelmed. I mean, the book is beautiful, but this is not like my most favorite desired design as far as the cover goes. I like the colors and I like the foiling, but I don't know. To me, for it to be the last book of the year, I feel like they should have done a little bit more, you know? I don't know. That's just my opinion. Also, like, the items in here are okay, except for the TBR jar. I have to say that the TBR jar is probably my favorite item out of this whole box. Although I do like stationary stuff, I don't really have a desk or an office to put this stuff in, so... And I also don't use a lot of it, even though I like collecting it, I don't use a lot of it, so I'd have to say... They're okay. They're not the greatest. Again, for the last box of the year, I thought they were gonna, you know, end it with a bang, but it's okay. It's not the worst box, but it's a little underwhelming for me, if you ask me. So this is my favorite item of the month. This TBR jar is beautiful, and I really like the quote on it. I also intend to read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue at some point, so I know I'm gonna love it that much more after I've read the book. Let me know what you guys thought of the box, what your favorite item was, and if you've heard of the book, let me know, because I have heard nothing about this book. I'm curious to know your thoughts if you guys have read it or know about it. Our Illumicrate January theme is murder mystery. Deep beneath the waves, monsters dwell, but something worse lurks above the waterline. Soon someone will be dead and a murder mystery afoot. Fandoms for this month include Crescent City, A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking, A Master of Jin and Wayward Children. There will also be a fandom neutral item. And they've also given me a sneak peek of what one of the items is, which I'm really excited. And I will share that with you guys once we unbox it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will catch you on my next one. Bye.